By God, Frosk, I think we've done it. <laughs> Welcome back to another eSports update. The part of the show where we give you the eSports news by reading whatever our writer puts in the prompter. It's fabulous to be back on the desk after taking a two week break to bolt on these puppies. I can feel our viewership getting harder already. <laughs> <laughs> and that's great because we've been told that we need to get more viewers or G4 will cut our budget. But the, jo <laughs> but the joke's on them. We already spent our budget on Beyblades. We had to borrow these chesticles from Gina. And what better way to get more viewers than tricking 12 year olds into thinking this is a hot tub stream with some fake titties. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nice! Does this mean I'll finally get to be on Booba TV? I sure hope so. Oddly, if you can get on Booba TV, anyone can get on Booba TV! <laughs> but this isn't a show about Booba. I wish that I would stop having to sure? say that. If it was, we'd probably get more viewers. It's a show about esports, and in the spirit of that, our top news story today comes from VCT Masters. That's the Valorant Championship Tour, where G2 owner Carlos Ocelot Rodriguez found the perfect way to articulate what every other team at the tournament was thinking. He rented a plane and got it to fly over Berlin with a banner saying, <laughs> Sentinels. <laughs> What the unsuspecting Germans who were caught in the crossfire of this esports banter thought of it, I'm not sure. But having lived in Germany, I can assume they took the most literal interpretation of the message and had sex with the nearest statue. <laughs> is that what a sentinel is? What's a sentinel? It's like a guardian. But why, so then why are they doing statues? Is that what they are? We have a lot of statues in Berlin. We have a lot of esports to talk about. So moving on from that statutory story. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the crazy world of League of Legends, where my breasts are so swollen it can only mean one thing. That Bjergsen is returning to competitive play! He lasted one season as a coach before he realized that the LCS sucks and he was still the best mid laner in the league. Now, my boobas are pointed squarely at double lift. I think it's gonna <laughs> rain. As they try, mine are pointing down though, so does that mean that he's like on the downward slope? Uh, but yes, pointed at double lift as they try to determine whether this news will be a enough to lure him out of retirement. What's that? You think Doublelift is washed up? Well, there you have it. The nips have spoken. Moving on to something that young Korean men, what? Oh God, Paul, please. Moving on to something that young Korean men try to avoid just as much as Ovalie's boobs. <laughs> I am single, I am searching, and I am content with my 2D men and body pillows right now. I am proud. I am proud to find love in manga and anime and my dating sims, okay? Dating sim boys need love too. It's fair. The actual answer was compulsory military service. They are required to do 18 months of it before they reach the age of 28, a deadline which is fast approaching for players like Faker, but he's found his way out. All he has to do is represent Korea at the Asia Games and win a gold medal, which he can do now that League of Legends, Dota 2, and several other esports titles are official events. This has given added motivation to his Chinese rivals who can't wait to send Faker to the military gulag. Ooh. Now let's talk about the Epic Games versus Apple court case. And I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, Avali, how are you going to relate a legal battle between two tech giants to your bountiful new breasts? Well, I'm gonna do that by explaining to you that this whole thing started because Epic added an in-gaming payment system for Fortnite that bypassed Apple's in-app purchases, which is a bit like me using G4's channel to promote my tits and not giving them any money for it. Oh. Apple gets mad because... <laughs> Apple gets mad Can you because zoom in on this. Oh please no. No, <laughs> don't get them away from my first hole. The thing is, guys, is that they smell like just strange silicone. And they're covered in like a weird slime and they're cold to the touch. Well no, it's it's soft to the touch. Uh, it's realistic. I'm 90% sure that this is what Sneaky uses in his cosplay. 
these were expensive and the problem is is that we were already out of money before this started. Now Apple gets mad because they're essentially the technology equivalent of a pimp and are no longer getting their standard 30% cut from a piece of Fortnite's ass. So they kick Fortnite from the App Store and Epic takes them to court for it. Which brings us to right about now, where the court ruled that Apple was not engaged in monopolistic practice. Oh bullshit! But they were engaged in anti-competitive behavior and must permanently allow developers to include third party purchase methods. Suck it, Apple. Now, you were on Team Apple yesterday. I was on Team Crapple yesterday. No, you wanted people to vote for Apple. No, I didn't. I wanted she to vote She is Crapple. a liar. Now we're going to do something a little different this week and send it over to our field reporter, Golden Boy, who is going to be reporting live from... right here? Because G4 could only afford one teleprompter. Now, Frosky and me are going to get off the set, but we're going to be classy about it, so don't just slide under the table and crawl off screen. Oh god, Ovali, why are you still reading this? It's meant to be an instruction, not part of the copy. Please stop, for the love of god, stop. Pe don't let people know how we live? They know how we live. They know how we live. Uh, yeah, uh, thanks so much. Wow, what's this chair doing here in the, uh, let me go ahead and solve this table situation there. Yep, there we go. Wow, I'm in an undisclosed location. Thank you so much for that wonderful introduction, Avli. I'm reporting live from the Serengeti. And in case you didn't get enough animal facts in our last episode, here's another one for you that you did not know, okay? Did you know that penis fencing is a mating behavior of the flatworm. Flatworms fence with their dagger-like penises, which our writer assures me is the plural of penis and not spelled P-E-N-E-S. The loser of this penis fencing match gets stabbed through the stomach and becomes pregnant, which makes me very glad that I am not a flatworm. Well, joke's on you, Paul, because maybe I want to be one. Now I'm reporting from the stock exchange here where the hell I just got transported where G4 stock is at an all time low. Well, no shit, Sherlock, which means it's a perfect time to buy because if Reddit has taught me anything other than the fact that if all kangaroos from Australia invaded Uruguay, each Uruguayan would have to fight approximately 13 kangaroos. That's a, that's, that's, that's a substantial amount. Say so you should always Always buy at the dip. But what do I know? I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy who's going to have to say the words creamy phlegm ointment because my writer put it in the prompter. Also, Paul, bad opportunity. You should have put moist because we all know that's the best freaking word. Now for my last report, I'm back in the hot tub. Oh man, it's a little wet over here, which means it's time for... Golden Boy takes off his shirt slowly and sensually at first and then faster as the audience gets more excited as he rubs his creamy phlegm ointment on his tummy. And GB, what are you doing, mate? You're meant to be rubbing ointment on your tummy. I don't have ointment here, man. You're not supposed to be reading this. You know what? Forget it. Let's end this train wreck of an episode. All right. Well, that's all the field reporting that I have time here today, folks. Just take it from me. Just, 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 just go.